Welcome to QUP, Computer Using Educators Update, bringing you current uses and best practices for today's classroom. Hello, I'm Rod Carnell, and I'm at Gainesboro Elementary School today, where they're rolling out Chromebooks to fifth graders. They're going one to one, and I'm heading inside to see what's going on. The Chromebook keyboard is slightly different from other keyboards, so time was spent familiarizing students with the options. By pressing Control, Alt, and Forward Slash, you bring up an on-screen keyboard overlay and allow the user to discover the keystrokes used to quickly accomplish tasks like cut, copy, paste, page up, page down, and other useful shortcuts to know when using a Chromebook. By pressing the key on the keyboard, the keyboard overlay will show you those shortcuts. Control plus V is paste. Control plus C is copy. Control plus X is cut. The Alt key gives you a variety of choices as well. As do combinations of Control and Alt and Shift and Control. Pressing Escape will hide the keyboard overlay. And I mm. recommend that you do take a selfie because that way if we open the Chromebook up, what's going to happen is after you log in, your little face is going to be in the center of the Chromebook screen. <laughs> and then we won't have to wander around going, who's number 20? Who's Chromebook's number 20? Well, no, just by looking at your little face. One way that students can customize their Chromebook is to change the background or wallpaper. By right-clicking on the screen, students will get the option to set wallpaper. By clicking on set wallpaper, various wallpaper choices will be available to them. They can change the theme and look for other wallpapers to decide upon. Once they've found one that they like, simply click on that particular image and set it as your background. This, along with setting a unique image for the login script, will allow users to quickly see if they have the Chromebook assigned to them. to app that's not already included in our apps. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're not going to be going there Swipe. right now. And that other app I know you've already been using. You guys have been using Google Classroom, correct? Yeah. So we need to find Google Classroom to add it. You'll notice at the top of your Customizing the apps launcher is another task for students to learn. By clicking on the apps launcher, you can see which apps are available. Students can find apps, add the apps, and place the apps on the shelf or taskbar along the bottom of the screen. This is necessary to personalize the device to the user, and it saves time. To find the apps, simply type in the name of the app you're looking for, and when it appears, add it to Chrome by cl clicking the Add to Chrome button. Confirm that you would like to add the new app by clicking on Add. Once the app is added to your app's launcher, you can add it to the taskbar simply by clicking and dragging it to the taskbar or shelf. This makes it easier to access the app for those that you use more frequently. Nope, I know it's tricky. You'll get it. Go back to your mouse on top of your fingers. Okay, here's what you 
want to do with the two fingers. Here's how I do it. practice over here. Put the two fingers and make sure there's a space between them, and then press. Like press your fingers at the same time. Okay, so try it again. Put your mouth down. Do you do it like curve? No, you can do it whatever's comfortable with your hand. You don't have to curve. Yes, please. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, I shouldn't hear you now. Now's the time you're taking your survey. Yeah, so you got your teacher's yourself. name, right? It's all your own. Okay, then you can answer the rest of the questions yes, on the survey. Do. There was certainly a lot going on that day, and I'm very excited about coming back once students have had a chance to focus in on using the tools, find success in their learning, and enjoy showing what they know. Join us again for another episode of Q Up Computer Using Educators Update. Thank you.